Hello my lovelies, here are the oracle messages for Aquarius for the month of May 2019. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, I've received a vision for you and a little snippet of a song. So this is the way that um, uh, Spirit and my guides want to work with me this month. Um, uh, so it's like a little um, snippet of a video for you. And the lyrics of the song will hopefully um, resonate with you on a very deep level. Um, you can Google the the rest of the song uh, to see if any of the other lyrics hit you on a, on another level. So the vision, the vision, um, and this is very interesting um, because you're an air sign. I was expected to, um, the messages to come through that would be uh, more to do with the intellect and and um, um, a sort of high vibrational stuff going on, but. What it seems to be is very practical for you, very practical energies um, of getting things done. So uh, the vision was I saw you inside um, a bank vault and you had your safety deposit box with you in there. And unfortunately, you were trapped inside the vault because the time switch um, had locked you in. So it's like you were in there over the weekend or even you know, perhaps longer when there was absolutely no access to the vault. They couldn't get you out. Um, they couldn't get in. You couldn't get out. Um, and you're getting very frustrated. And I saw you um, handling this uh, safety deposit box and inside it was a beautiful string of pearls. And also some dragon eggs. So we'll come to that in a minute. Um, it felt like you were also, um, there was enough air in there for you to breathe, you know, you, you, you weren't going to suffocate or anything. Um, but it felt like you were, oh, that's an interesting word, stultified. Ooh. Um, and um, uh, sort of oppressed by this energy around you. And you just want to get the hell out of there and use what you had in this safety deposit box. So it feels like on some level, you put it there a very long time ago. Um, maybe not from this lifetime um, and maybe not just one other lifetime but from previous lifetimes because the dragon eggs which are very um, uh, very ancient energies um, and when they did come to uh, release you when the time switch went off um, and phew, the door opened you were so pissed off you were really really um, really angry and, and, and shouty and um, uh, aggressive, you know, get out of my way, I just want to get the hell out of here. So this ties in with the oracle cards that are showing up for you. So, yeah, it's a very different energy for you this month, very different. It's not soft and fluffy by any means. Um, and um, so I'm going to jump with different cards, so, so we're not starting off the usual way with things. So um, the first one is, um, I asked for an animal card for you, you've got Badger. So badger is is aggressiveness. It's feistiness. He's a um, um, a, a fierce little beast. Um, he's quite vicious. He can you know tear his opponents to to ribbons. And uh, if he doesn't get what it is that he wants, so I get a sense that the the vision and and this card showing up is perhaps saying that you've been too timid with um, uh, manifesting things in your life. Um, you haven't demanded what you want. You haven't um, revealed your needs to others around you. Um, and you've been waiting and waiting for um, this door to open. So it's like you've been sealed inside a, a vacuum for a very long time where um, this sense of frustration is built up and built up and built up. You know you've got the tools. You know you've got the gifts. You know you've got the... Um, um, the commodities um, to make a difference in your life and, the, and in the lives of others. So with this um, badger energy showing up, this is being able to use aggressiveness in a way that you're not tearing everybody else to ribbons. You are just stating your case. So it's allowing your voice to be heard um, in a different way that's never, ever been heard of before. Um, Okay, and also um, it's like the uh, nothing is really black and white. It's there's a lot of colour 
um, perhaps has been missing from your life. So if you've been living just a black and white ex existence, um, a lot of colour wants to come in now. And so this is using your um, claws, the badger's claws, not in a, um, a vicious way towards anybody else, but to dig. Because also badger energy is about um, digging up roots, herbs, and it's that um, herbal medicine, um, um, the way of the way they are able to use nature's cures, natural remedies um, in their lives. So, if you've had a persistent um, physical condition and you've had no results from, or no good positive results from um, the medical profession, this is how. Um, you turn to an alternative way of looking at things and also that sense of frustration and aggressiveness could have been directed towards um, ordinary medicine um, um, and how you've been treated by um, the medical profession so it's being able to release that let that go uh, and focus on uh, natural things that will bring you back into balance because I also get the sense that with your beautiful um, Uranian energy um, is that your vibrations are um, rising so your consciousness is um, rising and when we take in um, uh, drugs um, and medicines their vibration is much lower um, and so on some level they can po poison us so that may be another part of this um, issue around you is that you've ingested um, yes maybe drugs and medicines but also um, poisons from other people so um, people can poison us with their um, their thoughts that they project onto us and their ideas of who we should be and their uh, um, uh, controlling um, um, manipulating ways so the energy of the month of May is um, aggressive healing um, and I heard one of my fellow lovely readers um, recently and she said the poison is the cure and that sounds weird but if you think of homeopathy the poison is the cure so you may find yourself delving into other ways of um, bringing yourself back into balance um, health-wise. And or you're dealing with um, someone else's health issues. So it's your children or your partner or your loved one's family um, who you feel may not have been treated um, with the respect that they deserve or the care that they deserve by certain people in the medical profession. And so sometimes when... Um, you don't get the answers that you want, you don't get the results that you want. Um, that frustration can push you towards finding another way. Um, and so really that's um, taking your power back. It's empowering you to find solutions um, that are outside the norm. This is, this is a very empowering time for you. So... Um, as you move up the scale of emotions, you can go from um, depression to joy, but you can't do it in one leap. You have to go up the scale. So after depression possibly comes anger. So if you get angry enough, that motivates you to do something about your situation. You're no longer listless and lying around and being the victim. So work with this. It's it's powerful, um, aggressive healing. Not to say that um, whatever you take will um, react on you aggressively, because that's defeating the object. It's much more a sense of you um, standing in your power, taking your power back from those you've given it away to, or the responsibility for your health and the health of others. Um, to be able to say, right, I'm going to find out for myself and I'm asking assistance from the divine 
to give me um, the right remedies, the right tools, the right people, the right healers um, to come into my life now because I'm, I'm, I'm sick of this. <laughs> uh, I'm sick of no results. So, um, and this can push you forward into um, a sort of fighting for a cause. Um, but whenever we fight anything, um, it's like you're battling with yourselves. So when you get over that feeling of um, uh, fighting, then the softness needs to come in. And um, an example of this is uh, Mother Teresa, um, who looked after all those people in um, poverty and illness in India. And she was asked many times to um, join a cause or fight for a cause. And she said, no, she would never fight for a cause. She would support a cause, but she would never fight. So there's a very different um, energy. It's much more subtle when you support a cause rather than fighting. So the um, mini badger card and it says Take charge of your life. Go for it. Trust your abilities. And again, that's that's taking your power back. So when we take charge of our own lives, we are empowering ourselves. And go for it. Don't wait for uh, permission from anybody else. Yes, you've been in this um, sealed vacuum of a um, vault. But it's open now. And I get the sense that... Um, Because the planet Uranus, which rules Aquarius, has recently moved into the sign of Taurus for the next seven years, your um, attention to your body, because Taurus is our bodies, it's Mother Earth, um, it's earthing things, um, your attention to your body will change quite dramatically and um, you looking after you. I'm not saying to totally dismiss what um, doctors um, can do for us, but it feels like in some of your cases, um, this shift of energies, which is so um, profound, because Uranus is innovations it's new ideas it's in, it's inventions um and it can be remedies it can be alternative ways of looking at things and you having that ability just to pluck it out of the ethers so it's bringing heaven to earth and sharing it with everybody um it says trust your abilities so um this is your own inner healer your own inner healing abilities to heal your own body um, and some of you might feel drawn to studying um, alternative ways of healing, um, whether it's hands-on, whether it's um, spiritual healing, whether you learn Reiki or, or um, um, go down that pathway of um, energetic healing. Finding what suits you, and it will show up. Now, um, I'll go back to the usual little cards that we have. So the little angel card is flexibility. So you can see she's touching her toes, she's bending over, she's physically flexible. So I feel this energy is, is um, uh, with you throughout May and beyond. Um, so again, this can be um, uh, brought in as part of a healing uh, process for you. So this could be yoga, Pilates, um, um, working with your body in such a way that it becomes more flexible. But this is also having a, a flexible mind, being open to um, hearing what other people have to say about alternative remedies. So whether it's um, herbal, um, whether it's tinctures, or whether it's um, uh, Bowen therapy or uh, Reiki or whatever. It's that whole gamut of um, 
working with the whole body rather than just one bit of it, which is how um, the Western medical world usually works. And with that, your self-mastery card is patience. <laughs> you think, oh Lord, how much more patience do I need? Because you've been in that vault for a very long time. Um, but my sense of this is it's a much more positive um, way of working with patience in that um, you have a very quick mind. Aquarius is um, about the, uh, the intellect, how we think about things, how um, we allow ideas to come to us very swiftly, very fast. And with Uranus being your ruler, um, it's change can happen very, very quickly. So you may come up with a, um, a solution for a, a health issue. You, you may come up with a solution for um, helping the planet, Mother Earth, because again, Uranus is in Taurus. Um, and you may feel frustrated in not getting it out there quick enough or um, it being shared with everybody quick enough. So the patience associated with this is doing your homework, doing the research, doing the um, the tests or the experiments or um, getting the idea from there down through you onto the page or computer or whatever um, and working to see it uh, manifest in the physical. So it is a process that you're going through um, and it, it feels to me like for an awful lot of you it is coming out of a time of um, distress, um, frustration, um, um, impatience, um, knowing that you've got something, knowing that there's something deep within you which is a solution to an awful lot of things that's going to help an awful lot of people because Aquarius is also um, about groups, group energy. It's the 11th house, it's um, sharing information with others. Now, along with the badger energy um, and within the um, safety deposit box, and this is an interesting phrase, isn't it? Safety deposit box. So you've deposited some safety in a box. So the box really is our, our hearts, our um, emotions, um, the love that we have for others, for ourselves. Um, and something that you have deposited in there a very long time ago, as I said, maybe two other lifetimes, has been kept safe and secure in this vault. But now you know it's time to open up that box, open up the vault, and to share it with others. You know, bashing past all, all the guards and say, let me out of here! You know, some of you might say, I'm going to sue you. I'm going to sue you uh, for keeping me in here for such a long time. Um, but on another level, it's you've had to be in there. You've had to have that door closed. You've had to be sealed away. You've, you've had to um, spend that time with yourself, um, working through certain issues um, and getting to the point where... Um, Realising the door was never really locked. And also it's divine timing. So when you hear that, psh, psh, when the door opens, it's absolute divine timing. If you come out any sooner, the process wouldn't work. If you stayed in any longer, the process wouldn't work because maybe somebody else would have um, um, locked onto it. Um, it's an interesting phrase too, isn't it? Locked onto it. So I'm thinking of Beanie Up Scotty. Um, <clears throat> uh, when they locked onto someone who was on the planet on the beam them back up to the mothership. Mm. Which again is is Uranus, Uranian energy. It's um, um, that ability to say, you'll beam me up. Um, so that part of you that can reach um, a higher vibration, a higher aspect. Um, and commune, communicate with um, your spirit guides, your soul, your space family. Um, 
your light family, all that other, um, all those other aspects of you. So within the box, in the uh, vault, as I say, were pearls, a necklace of pearls. So these are pearls of wisdom. And each one, or quite a few on the necklace, each one had a specific area of knowledge. And I feel that when you put them on again, metaphorically speaking, all of these things, it's like a download will come into you and you go, I don't know, how do I know that? It's, it's just so familiar, I just remember it. I've never studied it, I've never learned it, I just know it. It feels comfortable, I don't even need a book. Boom, there it is, back. Um, so with these downloads that we're getting, which is again, Uranus energy, Uranus in Taurus, as above, so below, the universe is downloading um, all sorts of energy and wisdom and remembrances into us. So these are the tools with the pearls. Now the other things in the box were dragon eggs. So dragons shown up quite a lot in this month's readings for people. I've had it, I think you're the fourth sign. Um, and I've been through my artwork and I found four different um, depictions of um, dragons that I've painted. So it makes me um, think, oh, right, there's a, uh, there's a theme running through here. Uh, for, for some it was the um, uh, hummingbird, which is this beautiful, um, light, fluffy energy. Um, but the dragon energy is very strong. It's very powerful. Um, it's about getting things done, people paying attention. Um, and there, there seem to be earth dragons as well that are showing up. Um, and... I asked for a card from the uh, Wisdom of Avalon pack. Guess what she got? <coughs> Dragon. Oh, this is the one we got. So the dragon energy is about power and strength. And I would say with the, um, the badger, Yes, it's power and strength, but not using it in an aggressive way. Using, um, being forceful, being firm, standing your ground, um, just being powerful. Not overpowering, not overwhelming, just being powerful, finding your power. And for an awful lot of us, we can go through life not feeling powerful because from an early age either people took it or uh, we gave it away without even realising. And suddenly when you step into your power, it feels very unfamiliar, uh, it can feel very disconcerting. Um, you might have your ego playing with you and saying, oh no, I wouldn't go there if I were you, that's, that's really dangerous. You know, if people knew you were so powerful, um, uh, they try and knock you down or... Um, I want to take your power away from you again. So uh, a part of this aggressive healing, aggressive medicine, is tuning into, adapting to the power that you have within you. So those dragon eggs in your safety deposit box, I feel are akin to the pearls of wisdom, but they're on a very different level. So the pearls of wisdom um, are more... Um, Aquarian and the dragon eggs are more Taurian so your Uranus energy is working on two different levels and I feel that these dragon eggs they're not all going to hatch at once this feels like a long term um, hatching <laughs> hatching operation um, um, sitting on the nest, keeping them warm, keeping them safe. Um, and because Uranus is in Taurus, as I say, for seven years, it can be that length of time before they all um, crack open and all hatch. Um, and that's fine. Because I don't think it would be good for you to have them all um, hatch at once. I think all those baby dragons running around. 
Um, so divine timing is coming in here as well. Um, and if we look at the numbers, we've got 29 for the badger. And we've got 24 for the dragon. So 29 is um, a critical degree in astrology. And we just had the Libra full moon, second Libra full moon at 29 degrees. So it's endings and beginnings. Um, and 29 also adds up to 11. So 11 is a portal. It's being a visionary. It's being a prophet. It's that intuitive um energy and it's one and one whoops together so walking through a portal but it also refers to partnership so two people and as Khalil Gibran says in the prophet when two people are together speak to us of marriage master they say and to paraphrase he says let the winds of heaven dance between you so don't get so totally caught up with each other that it's codependent, it needs to be co-creative and interdependent, and let the winds of heaven dance between you. So this beautiful Aquarian um, air energy, winds of heaven. Um, 24 adds up to six. So the six energy is love, it's balance, um, harmony um, bringing love into every situation so again as I said with the, the badger energy not being so aggressive that uh, people run for the hills um, uh, and it's some, it can be thought of sometimes as tough love so if there are um, youngsters around you who are playing up and uh, being foolish and not being careful um, tough love might need to come in. Um, and you know how little ones are. They say, I'll hate you. Oh, I'll really, I'll hate you. I'll hate you. I'll hate you. And the next minute, I love you, I love you, I love you. So um, uh, it's working with this ability to love and show love on lots and lots of different levels. So um, with tough love, it can come out as aggressive. I told you not to do that. You have to be more careful about this, that and the other. But if you can find a softer voice, a softer side of Badger, um, to explain things um, and, to, and to say how, how you feel if they were harmed or hurt or, or whatever, um, which is you expressing your love for them, um, but explaining why you might have um, shouted at them or jumped down their throat or scared them even um, with a tough love. And so your final card is from Gordon Smith's um, five, five Keys to Happiness. And this is a very interesting, interesting one because so a lot of this reading seems to be earth, earth energy. Um, you bringing things down to earth so this is the earth family and it says full circle so there's a wise little old lady who i would say is part of the triple goddess so triple goddess energy is the maiden the mother and the crone and the crone is the wise one She's come through life, through all of the different aspects. And she's re reached a point where she uses her wisdom in a very gentle way. So comparing the badger to the deer, two very, very different energies, one aggressive and one soft and gentle. So she's holding the deer by the, um, the rein there. And the full circle energy says that you have come through an extraordinary um, cycle of events as it is with what I said about your um, planet um, that rules your Uranus being in the sign of Taurus for seven years so I feel that you're going to um, approach life in a very different way so with a full 
circle, you have found wholeness and completion in the cycle of life. At an ancient stone ring during the full moon, a wise woman holds a young red deer close to her. The deer is a symbol of truth. The woman is cloaked against the chill of the night and has realised that she doesn't have to sacrifice or let go of her truth, which she keeps close to her heart. You've completed a stage of your life and have reached the understanding that you don't have to repeat the same mistakes over and over again. The meaning of your recent experiences has finally dawned on you. You can only go forward from here and follow your intuition while holding on to your truth. So I feel that there's a great karmic completion with the energy of this card. Also, that to me is the vault door, the circle, is the, uh, the door to the vault opening up. So you don't have to repeat any of the lessons that you've been through in the last seven years. Um, you've completed the course, you've got the certificate, you've grown into this wise being with a gentleness to her. So you don't need the aggressiveness of Badger, the aggressive side of Badger. And it's being able to um, discern how much of that energy you use in every situation around you. So this isn't about being soft. This is about being wise. Learning all of the hard lessons but taking from them all the, the positive stuff that you can uh, now move forward with. So this is my painting of the dragon. There are other things in it as well so um, see if you can find find him in there. Where are they? There he is. <laughs> And there's Demeter, the Earth Goddess. There are many creatures in this painting. And they all showed up after I'd put three colours on the page. And I always mix the paint with sacred water from Glastonbury Chalice Well and Vibhuti, which is sacred ash. And then when anybody views my work, they get a blast of healing energies. So I don't know till I put the paint on the page and swiggle it around a bit what's going to show up. Usually it's animals, some sort of creatures. So the dragon energy, as I say, is a very powerful theme for the collective for this month of May. And it is reminding us how truly powerful we are, how the powers of, that be over the thousands of years have told us that we're not powerful and we've believed it. They've told us what to think, how to behave, what to believe. And that's changing so dramatically now that we're taking back our power. We're starting to show um, the patriarchy that we won't stand for being told what to do or bossed around or what to believe anymore so an awful lot of things are crumbling around us so as you step out of that vault with your precious gifts of the pearls and the dragon eggs 
know that you're going to make a difference in this world whether it's just within your family or your community or on a, or on a wider scale but something's been calling to you for a very long time and as that um the vault timer gets to zero boom that's where the door opens I also get the sense that when you reach August there will be a full moon in your sign a full moon in Aquarius in August so it's during Leo time so the moon will be full because Aquarius is the opposite sign of Leo now the song that they gave me for you um, it sort of makes sense but leave me a comment tell me what you think about it and it's actually from Mary Bobbins the original movie and it goes let's go fly a kite up through the morning light let's go fly a kite and send it soaring up through the atmosphere up where the air is clear oh let's go fly a kite so that is so apt for aquarian energy <laughs> and your uranian energy because you're you're an air sign let's go and fly a kite let the kite go um and there was another song during the 1960s um um uh, i will write write your name on a um on a snow white kite I will write the words I love you so whatever it is you want to um, write on your kite um, whatever color you feel is um, appropriate for your kite and the metaphor of it is is sending out thoughts it's sending out ideas it's or requests rockets of desire um, sending out um, a signal like a bat signal maybe <laughs> that sort of thing because that is about transformation um but sending it out there let's go fly a kite um send it soaring up through the atmosphere up where the air is clear so when the air is clear our thinking is clear our minds are clear our lungs are clear so we can think clearly so <laughs> i leave you with that um i do hope you've enjoyed my reading for you for this month um it's a bit, a bit of a mishmash of things um, um but enjoy your may please please enjoy your may leave me a comment let me know what you think about all this um, weird and wonderful stuff um thank you for liking and sharing please subscribe because that really helps to um boost my channel and if anyone would like details of my artwork um these are available as uh, prints and greeting cards or if you'd like to commission a private um, bespoke unique piece for yourself or as a gift for someone else um, details are in the box below and um, private sessions I do they are available um, so I'd love to hear from you uh, and for the time being lots of love